Okay. It's 7.30 in the morning. I have about one hour to get ready. I'm going on a very exciting golfing trip with my dad. golf it's a complicated game but like many sports it's actually very similar to trading and a lot of things in business so what are some of the similarities between golf and trading let's find out number one trading just like playing golf requires a lot of practice. You see, any good golfer probably has to hit hundreds of thousands of balls in his life, and trading too, you're not gonna learn overnight. It takes time. Practice makes perfect. So I have a pretty difficult shot here. You can see, I don't know how well you can see this, but my ball is here, and I have to hit it over the water. If I leave it too short, I'm in the water. If I hit it too far, I basically into the, into the woods. What I need to do is basically focus on where the ball needs to go, and not where it shouldn't go. In other words, it's all between my ears. And it's very similar in trading. 80% of it is between your ears. If you can't stick to your trading plan, in other words, get take your stop where your predetermined stop was or take your profits where your predetermined profit was, you're basically setting yourself up for failure because you, you're trading without a risk management process. If you don't stick to your trading plan, it's mostly due to the fact that you're greedy or fearful. In other words, it's between your ears. At the end of the day, it's very difficult to deplete your account if you stick to your trading plan. Now, let me be clear. Just because you stick to your trading plan doesn't mean you're going to make huge gains. But there's a very high probability of you at least not depleting your account if you stick to your predetermined trading plan. I made it, I hit it over the water and not over the green, but I just barely made it. So I just dumped this drive off the tee into the woods. So I have an option. I can either just kind of be safe and play it out this way onto the fairway or I do something really creative and potentially stupid and hit it right through here. When it comes to trading it's very similar. A lot of times it's better to take a safe trade that may have a little bit less of reward but for example a lot of people just gamble and try to hold a stock or an option position through earnings where you have basically no way of risk managing. So a lot of times it's better to be safer, make potentially less money, but not blow up. In golf, if the guys you're playing with have better swings or are scoring better than you, don't let that intimidate you. In trading, if your friends are telling you about their great trading performance, don't let that intimidate you. Just continue learning one day after another. In fact, they might be lying about the trading performance. Well, we just finished our 18 holes. A lot of fun. Great time to play with my dad. And the last thing I want to talk about comparing golf to trading is the following. Make sure you have fun. I, see, I meet so many people that play golf that actually don't really enjoy it. They keep getting frustrated after every shot and that's just not really worth your time. It's the same thing for trading and investing. If it's so frustrating to you that it's making your stomach turn, you got to change something. Make sure you enjoy the process. Like everything in life, learning how to trade and invest is a process. I hope this uh, was helpful for you guys and I'll see you in the next vlog.